Welcome to the Dog Nerd Show, where we geek out over our best friends. I'm Megan. And I'm Michael, and this is a show about all things dog. Hey everyone, today we are talking about the Scottish Terrier, one of the oldest Highland Terriers and thought to be one of the oldest breeds native to Great Britain. Ah, that's very interesting. You know, the Scotty was very popular in the 30s and the 40s. Uh, people like FDR had a Scotty, Dwight D. Eisenhower, that's two presidents right mm-hmm. there. And then uh, Humphrey Bogart and Betty Davis had a Scotty. They they were so popular. They were on, like their silhouettes were on a lot of yeah. stuff back yeah, then. Absolutely. Um, dignified and alert with an efficient work style. This breed can be aloof around strangers, but they are confident and playful mm. and so stinking cute. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Listen, folks, if you love our content, please subscribe below. It helps us out so much. Um, it, it YouTube just loves it when you comment and so do we yes and if you don't want to miss an episode click that little bell and get a notification every time we have a new show (laughs) that helps us too absolutely we're trying to be popular with youtube if you can't if you haven't yes exactly (laughs) and you guys are helping us yes now let's hear all about the scottish terrier all right. Rider. This is McVan's paperback rider. Oh, and then, I love so it. He's, he's rider. And uh, he's a, a, grand, he, a new bronze grand champion this weekend. He oh, got his hundredth points oh, this weekend wow. toward his grand. So we're very excited about that. Congratulations. And we're competing in owner handler in a little bit. So hopefully we'll get a little piece of that group. Yes. We'll, we'll find out when we get in there. Oh, but wonderful. he is a, such a fun, happy boy. He really likes this a lot. So well, he would have to to have, be that accomplished, right? <laughs> yes. Um, so how old is he? He's two years old, Aww. and uh, he's done very well. I've been very, very pleased. Uh, he, he was bred out in Washington State by Vandra Huber, okay. and she was very, very nice to allow me to bring him to the East Coast and Aww, show him. Wonderful. So tell us a little bit about this breed. Well, Scotties uh, are a terrier, and they are very terrier-like. They like to go after prey, uh, meaning a squirrel or a lizard or anything else that wiggles or jiggles. They're happy to go after it. Uh, So they're very prey-motivated at times. They can be a little bit stubborn, because if their mind's on something else, they're not going to pay attention to you. But uh, food motivates, or a toy. He loves his toys, too. So, uh, you know, as, he, as long as he's happy and we work with them, yeah. they, they'll, they'll do well. But they can be a little bit on the stubborn side. So, having had Border Terriers, what were Scotty's bred to hunt for specifically? Anything? In- um, basically to kind of get rid of vermin. Yep. So it would have been anything that would have, like, eaten the crop or been in the barn or even out in, in the rocky crags yep. to go. And they have very powerful front paws to dig. Okay. So if you were to really look at that that front paw, it's a little bigger than the back. Okay. And they are very broad and wide, and they were meant to dig. And they don't mind digging up your garden. <laughs> I was going to say, do you have a lot of holes in your yard if you um, have a Scotty? Not at the moment because they're not allowed out there right now. <laughs> not, not in that part. Not unsupervised. Yes. I'll put it that yes. way. Because I don't want I don't want Georgia red clay in their right, coat. <laughs> right. That's not easy to get out of anything. No, not at all. So, um, are they a shedding dog? Uh, typically not. Not like a t- not like a golden retriever. They don't do the big blow. They shed more or less constantly. Okay. And so when we groom for show, we strip. And when you strip, you're for shedding. And so, and they're double coated. They have a harsh outer coat and they have a very downy soft undercoat. Okay. So do expect you're going to have hair somewhere. You will have hair, but you won't get the big giant blow. Yeah, yeah. Um, are they a pretty easy breed to train? Um, if you start young 
and you find their correct button. If it's a toy or food, each little dog has their own little button. Okay. Um, he was he came this way. I mean, just up and going. And I have not competed in agility or anything, but his daughter I think would be a natural. Wow. She is so fun. She targets and she puts in. She goes through the tunnel. She's really good. I I don't think I could keep up with her. <laughs> That's part of the, yeah. the, the trial with agility yes. is keeping up with the dog. But I have done Earth Dog with yeah. with Scotties before and you don't see them quite as often yeah. but Earth Dog is a lot of fun too and so we have done that. Oh cool. So would this be a good breed for someone who's never had a dog before? If you're patient okay. um, I think it would. They make a wonderful house pet. Uh, I would not leave them alone because <laughs> if, if they're bored they'll find their own entertainment so I wouldn't, if you're willing to crate train and supervise, they make a wonderful house pet. Okay. Would they be a good apartment dog or do they need space in a yard and not shared walls because um, of the barking? They can be a little barky if they see something. Yeah. Uh, if they see a squirrel or a lizard or even a person or somebody riding a bike, they may bark. Yeah. So uh, if you ha can keep them supervised away from that window where they don't see it, they would be fairly quiet. Okay. Okay. Um, are, do they have any health issues that are of concern? Um, Scotties do have some unique conditions uh, out there. We, we do a lot of uh, DNA testing now, so we've eliminated, or, or we have really decreased a lot of our issues. Uh, they are prone to have bladder cancer, and so we're working on, on you know, trying to eliminate that. That's the most prevalent cancer okay. that are lymphoma later in life okay. um, but bladder cancer seems to run in Scotty's which is a little unusual yeah. compared to others uh, there is um, a condition called Scotty cramp it's not a disease it's more like a neurological condition mm -hmm. so if they get super super excited they'll hitch up in their rear and they can fall over okay. um, and that we have, unfortunately have not found that marker yet oh. in the DNA but uh, it's a double recessive gene that runs in Scotty's. Does that just kind of temporarily? Oh yes, it's not a disease. It's just take away the stimulant. They mm -hmm. calm down and they're fine. They, okay. In fact, they live longer than normal. They they learn to, to say, exactly. oh, it's coming on. I yeah. don't want to. I don't want to look stupid. Uh, <laughs> I gotta I gotta check myself, yeah. right? <laughs> yeah. So no, it, it's uh, you know they make you fabulous pets, them. even if they do have the Scotty cramp. They're wonderful. It's not that. It's just that you may not be able to go do fly ball or yes. you wouldn't be able to do agility with yeah. a dog like that. Uh, would they be a good family dog? Yes, they're wonderful family dogs. Awesome. That was, a, that was like a no question answer. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Um, anything else that we should know about the breed? That Oh, grooming. Grooming? What's the, what's the grooming um, like? Well, for a show Scotty, you strip their, their coats and their jackets, and you kind of stage it along the way. For a pet, you could uh, clip her if you wanted to. Some people will take uh, a stripping kind of comb and kind of run through and get rid of some, some coat. And you just clip her their face and maybe brush them out once a week. I mean, it's not what it's not like a pick and easy that you've got to brush constantly. Yeah, yeah. So that that's an easy coat to keep, yeah. and they they bathe easily and you know blow dry them real through that and run run a, a bore bristle brush through their coat, keep the dust off. Yeah, they're they're fairly easy. The staging, the stripping, if you want to show, yeah. you know, find somebody to teach you. Yes. I'm still learning after 30 <laughs> years. That's an art, definitely. <laughs> Yes, we're our work in progress. Yeah, yeah, well, I think you've done a beautiful job. Is there anything else about the breed personality-wise or anything in general we should know about? Oh, well, they're very upbeat and happy. They were really in their super heyday during the 30s and 40s. Mm -hmm. So if a president can own one, then maybe you and I can. Absolutely. <laughs> well, thank you so no, much. Thank you. Man, what a cool breed and probably one of my favorite silhouettes because they're, they're just so identifiable and distinguished looking. Yeah, you know, when you see it, right? Yep. You know, if you're looking for a smaller dog and you like that terrier spunk, yeah, this dog might be for you. It does have a little bit of energy that you got to... Mm -hmm. Yep, you know, you got to continue with, but, but... And, and big paws that look like they would be good for digging. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs>
Y'all, if you enjoyed this episode, a thumbs up would be awesome. So go ahead and click that thumbs up. I would appreciate it. And I think Michael would too. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Also, if you have a Scotty, if you wouldn't mind, just go ahead and leave it, leave a comment about your experiences in the, uh, down below. That would be great. Yeah, we love hearing about your dogs. Um, and speaking of comments, let's hop over and talk about our commenter of the show. All right. This one, I, I'm, I apologize. I'm really going to get this name wrong. I, I, I'm, I'm picking, I'm not discriminating against names because I've picked <laughs> some difficult names here. This one is Dar, Darmendron G. Um, and this was the Saluki episode. Mm. Great coverage and excellent explanation about the Saluki. I am Indian and do have Salukis. I had the experience when the leashes mistakenly slipped out of my hands during a morning walk. Luckily, the dogs returned to me after a while, and, and it was a terrific experience to me. Great to have Salukis as your companion and friend. So oh, cool. as we heard in the Saluki episode, if you let them off leash, it, a one-hour hike might be a two-hour hike because you're waiting <laughs> for them to come back to you. Yeah. And obviously... Darmendron had this same experience when he accidentally dropped the leashes. So thank you so much for yeah, your comment. You. We love hearing about your dogs and Salukis, man, they do seem like a fantastic breed. So, yeah. Um, but yeah, so. Yeah, Megan. So talking about comments and tell people where they can leave those comments and how they can get a hold of us. Yeah. So, you know, you can comment here on YouTube. If you are a podcast listener, go ahead and email us dognerdshow at gmail.com. Give us a review there if you like the show. And then if you want to find us on social, we're everywhere at Dog Nerd Show. And then if you want to check out my Etsy shop, it's etsy.com slash shop slash hound and thistle. And uh, that's where I have my dog here. Awesome. Well, folks, until next time. Bye. Bye. Bye.